Right. We're going to see a lot of swinging, a lot of stand heavy kicks. A whole lot of unga unga. <laughs> it's what I like to call Bison's neutral. It's just like cavemen. So how do you feel about the Bison Mirror as a, as a Bison player? Man, it's just first one to start pressuring, bro. Like, I mean, it's pressure and then just trying to bait when they're going to, you know, throw a light kick out or something like that because we are we are a three-frame character. So definitely it, it probably ends up being a, a pretty scrambly match, right? You yeah, know? it's just, it's just kind of all over the place. Um, you know, Chris, you know, Negro Justice, he was a he's a really big bison player, really good in Street Fighter 4. Yeah, um, I remember him from the Street Fighter 4 days when I used to come up to some of the Tennessee tournaments. I'd, I'd see him here. Little, little OG for the for the boys. But, I mean, he's a, he's a big Tekken player now. I see that he's transitioned to a different game. But uh, he's back in the Street Fighter scene. Very happy for it. You know, because scene out here kind of dying down. Yeah. I know the feeling. Definitely know that feeling. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and Bison is a uh, somewhat are you top five character this season, um, especially to some of the nerds uh, to the top tier. Uh, Bison stock has definitely gone up. Oh yeah, um, I would say in my opinion he is top three. I can see that. Definitely can see that. Um, and, and and thinking about it, he really didn't get very many buffs. Like he just got to change his V skill mm -hmm. and. What else? I'm trying to remember. It, it may have been it. I don't remember very many big changes Bison got. So, but yeah, already was a, a, a very solid character, but just only had issues against some of the top tiers as far as matchups. But uh, with some of those characters getting nerfed, uh, definitely helps them out. I wonder if they're both going V-Trigger 1. I don't really know if you would go V-Trigger 2 against Bison. Uh, no. Actually, no. So, yeah. So, it looks like the Blazer Fury went. Or no, Negro went V-Trigger 2. Blazer went V-Trigger 1, right? Yeah. Okay. I believe That's so. That's interesting. I wonder if he wants V-Trigger 2 to possibly try and get out of some of the corner pressure maybe or. Uh, well, I can tell you that Chris likes V-Trigger 2. Um, he's a really big fan of the Psycho Crusher. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I really don't see why you would use that against Bison. When all you gotta do is pop that, you know, V Trigger one, and it's just game over from there. If you play it, your cards right. Yeah, I feel like you use V Trigger two in more like neutral, like slower place matchups because you want to capitalize off these little small hits, like as, as much as you can, and you get it quicker. Um, that's the only reason I would see it, but since we're talking about it. Looks like Blazer Fury's starting to pressure off strong. Gets him pretty close to the corner. Slide here. It tries to disrespect the plus frames. And just like we were saying, it's kind of a scrambly matchup. You definitely see them challenging each other on their on their plus frames and not. Now you can see he tried to do a psycho crusher there to get like under the uh, the head stomp, the X head stomp. And it didn't work in his favor. But we've got the bomb on him, so let's see what yep. he's gonna do here. Is he gonna wait it out? I think so. Oh. I feel oh, like he no. could have went for some throw bait to maybe like try and get a Get into the tech maybe and get hit by the ball. Now, I feel like oh wow, Bison has a hard time dealing with his own cross up, right? Like you would probably have to go air to air. So, or maybe crash heavy punch might work. But Blaze Free takes the first round. Moving on to the second round. This is early. He has him in the corner. But puts himself in the corner. He gives up all that space he had. All the advantage. He's working that, that devil's reverse in the corner. Um, does uh, does Bison have any solid answers to deal with uh, devil's reverse? Not really. You, what, you really want to know? Yeah. Caught your life punch. That's it? Uh, I mean, that easy. Yeah, like, you know, me and Y and Z boy play a lot. Uh, that's, one of my, that's one of my best friends. Um, and, you know, Frank, if I do a Devil's Reverse, he, every single time, even EX, yeah. he will light punch me right out of it. Man. Oh, oh nice here we go. There. Blazer Fury, man. I guess he tried to, he assumed maybe he was going to the other side, walked into the, man. So, all right, so Blazer Fury takes the first game. So you're looking for confirmation on two out of three. 
Oh, yeah, that's what it was. So in previous KITs, they've typically done the whole tournament three out of five, but they decided to switch it up this year and uh, do two out of three. Um, so I guess he was just checking on that. Kind of grateful for that, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I do appreciate being able to, like, play that many games, but it, it definitely makes the tournament drag on a little bit. Oh, it tries to crash and light punch anti-air. And that's still a really effective anti-air, no matter how much they try and nerf it. Still pretty good. All right. Oh, punishes the light suit. Right, here we go. The counter yeah. hit. I wonder if, uh, if Chris knows any of the cross-up Psycho Crusher setups. Um, I uh, don't believe he does. Uh, he's like I said, he's just getting back into five. Gosh. Oh, he picked a good time to be. <laughs> like I said, Bison's a pretty good season. I guess that's another big thing in this matchup. Anytime if he takes the bison to the corner, EX has stops coming, you know, and he's going to get out the corner. I feel like there should be something that he could do to stop it, though. Okay, oh, nice. here we go. So it looks like Chris is going for some momentum. Oh. There it is. So that's – maybe that's the answer. Yes. Nice psycho crusher to deal with the psycho blast. Dash, stand, heavy kick. Right, so switch sides? No. Just keeps the plus frame. Super. <laughs> wow, yeah, you're right. That could have oh. worked. Oh. oh, but he does it there. That was definitely a desperation. Super. You can't blame him. Um, being as it was match point for Blazer, um, you got to do what you got to do to take the take the round sometimes. Um, but, yeah, now Blazer has the meter advantage. He wants to live, man. Yeah. Now Chris has got to stop doing that neutral jump right there. Man, not checking the dashes. This might be it. Yeah. Oh, the no. shape. The look. That is the worst position to be in in this game. When you are that much stun. Oh. It's all right. The SF five th frame trap. Whiff throw. They react too late. Try and tech, and then you punish their tech. But uh but yeah. Got something in my eye. That's no good.